Prepared for us, but <laughs> yeah. it's the opposite. It was because I had it on and I was like, <laughs> let me just throw this on and call it a day. <laughs> Next rental increase, dude, we could probably get these up to thirteen seventy five, right? So you could be bringing in $2,750 a month for only $249.9, right? Blows the 1% rule away. And you are in a growth market, right? You get the side-by-side, -side, you get a few things, right? You get bigger layouts for the tenants that feel more like houses, and they don't have shared basements, shared common space, shared laundry, right? That stuff is great. What that does is it equates to higher rents for your tenants, and more importantly, less tenant fighting, which leads to higher tenant satisfaction. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. Columbus, man, the biggest, baddest, best growth market in Ohio, right? I mean, to be honest with you guys, really, like Ohio, when people come to Ohio and they invest in real estate, most of the time it's, it's just purely like a cash flow play. Like you, you get a lot of spots in Ohio and like the rest of the Midwest, really, where it's a lot of cash flow stuff. Like it's not a lot of growth markets, not a lot of appreciation markets, right? Usually when you think of a growth market, you're thinking like the Sun Belt, right? You're thinking like Florida. Florida's a nice growth market, uh, you know, places like that. A lot of warm stuff, a lot of stuff down south, right? Not a lot of growth markets in the Midwest, but uh, Columbus, Ohio, it kind of bucks the trend there, right? Columbus, Ohio is like the biggest metro in the entire Ohio, and it's got like a net population game, right? So if you're looking to combine cash flow with growth and affordability, Columbus where you want to be, y'all. And I got a nice one for you. 1002 East 16th, Columbus, Ohio, 43211. Coming at y'all at 249.9. Now, this is a side by side duplex, all right? I love side by sides, y'all. If you've watched my shows before, you've watched me talk about this, you've listened to me give you real estate advice, side by side duplexes are great. They are better than the up-down duplexes, right? Now, the up-down duplexes in Ohio, most of the markets in Ohio, they are the majority of the inventory that was built, okay? So it's not like we could avoid investing in up-down duplexes. We have to just because that's what's, you know, commonly out there. But when you ever get the opportunity to do a side-by-side, -side, you got to take that opportunity, man, and we have that here for you, right? When you get the side-by-side, -side, you get a few things, right? You get bigger layouts for the tenants that feel more like houses, and they don't have shared basements, shared common space, shared laundry, right? That stuff is great. What that does is it equates to higher rents for your tenants and, more importantly, less tenant fighting, which leads to higher tenant satisfaction, which leads to your life being less annoying, and they stay longer, and that's where the real money is made, right? Because when these folks are moving in, moving out, moving in, moving out, we as landlords, we lose money, right? We got to release it. We got to re-renovate the unit, et cetera, et cetera. Just a pain in the keister, man. But when they are in side-by-sides, it feels more like a house. They have multiple floors. They don't have to share space. They're not on top of each other making noise. They stay a lot longer. We net more money. And that, folks, is what it's all about. Now, the rents in Columbus, dude, oh, my God. If you want to look at some freaking skyrocketing rents, take a look at, like, rent rates in Columbus over the last decade, dude. Now, currently, we got... One tenant paying eleven hundo, the other's paying twelve hundred. But where we're at these days, man, next rental increase, dude, we could probably get these up to thirteen seventy five, right? So you could be bringing in two thousand seven hundred fifty dollars a month for only two hundred forty nine nine, right? Blows the one percent roll away, and you are in a growth market, right? I couldn't imagine what that rent rate is going to be ten years from now, man. Columbus is where you want to be if you want to park your money. For the long term, earn a decent return today, but really watch it grow uh, as the years go by, right? And the mechanicals on this, they're all looking good, right? Everything has been replaced within the last five years. I mean, it's just a nice little turnkey rock and roller, man. This thing is pretty badass, okay? I understand you buy it, you put down 25%, bank kicks in 75%, but the interest rates, you know, admittedly, they're a little high right now. But guess what? 
interest rates, folks, they go up, they go down, they go up, they go down. Do you know what rent does in a place like Columbus? It goes up, and it don't ever go down. Up, up, up. It's a growth market. The value of this property is probably going to be higher in 10 years by a lot. The rent's probably going to be higher in 10 years by a lot. The mortgage, the interest rate, guess what? 10 years from now, probably going to be lower. Refi at any point in time, right? Save yourself a little money right now. Get yourself an arm, okay? Last mortgage I did was an $800,000 mortgage. I got myself an arm, saved myself half uh, a percentage point, right? Half a point on an 800K mortgage, y'all. That's a decent amount of money, right? And the way that that particular product worked is uh, I got, I think it's seven or eight years. I forgot what it was. It's locked in for seven or eight years. And then it's going to change every six months, right? So I'm banking on the fact that sometime in the next seven or eight years, I have the opportunity to refi into a 30-year at a lower rate. And then all that money I saved on the interim, that's money in my pocket, man. That's something you guys should do, right? So if you guys are interested in purchasing this property uh, with an arm or just like a regular uh, loan, totally cool. You could even pay cash, whatever you want to do. Send those offers to my team, sales at holtonwise.com. Include your pre-approval letters from your lenders. Uh, if you're getting loans, if you're paying cash, include that proof of funds. If you want to buy this with a loan, but you don't have a lender, don't you worry, man. Let me hook you up. I got lenders to hook you guys up, okay? Whether you want to do 30 years, whether you want to talk about arms, whether you want to go private money, hard money, even got lenders that could do uh, loans for foreign nationals, right? We get a ton of folks from Canada, places like that. We got some UK folks, uh, a lot of people from Singapore investing here in Ohio, and we have lenders that take care of foreign nationals as well. So just let us know if you need a lender. Just send us an email, ask us for our list of lenders. We will get that to you. And then we, of course, can field your offers. Sales at HoltonWise.com. Let's go. Is that room? Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the backyard, the sneak peek. Sneak preview. Could have parked in the alley. Pretty view, is that what you said? No, sneak preview. I have to oh. do the back of the house. <laughs> I was like. <laughs> 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 oh shit. Listen. Well, in general I am. Humbleness at its finest, okay? Right. We're just gonna chalk it up to that. Okay. Damn. I need to my middle daughter to still have her fucking room. All right. I'm gonna sneak behind you so I'm not in the footage. Okay, we're all good. Now all we gotta do. Now we gotta do the outside and the neighbors. Yeah. You all right? Yeah, I have a. a I actually seven weeks ago I broke my ankle, and this is my like first like week being allowed to walk around without my boot on. I had a cast and then a boot. Now, now I'm out the boot, but it just feels so fucking weird going down some steps. Hey, what's all this to do? That's why I have a different shoe on, because I had my boot on earlier, yeah. and I was being lazy and was like, let me just throw this fucking flip flop on real quick. I would never It's funny, because I wasn't going to say anything, but I was like, <laughs> yeah, hmm, she I, was clearly unprepared for it, but yeah, it's the opposite. It was because I had it on, and I was like, fuck it, let me just throw this on and call it a day. Two different shoes, you know? Perfect. Are we ready? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Seven, okay. Okay, I'll knock first though, just so, just so I don't scare anybody. Oh, okay. Hit my head on everything. He came out. Oh, okay. Okay. I talked Oh. Hello. Yeah, my bad. Oh. I like let the kids hang up decorations and then oh, no. I gotta kinda go back to the house of like I think they're ready for us.
when you're moving around. Hey guys! Okay, well, they hear me. Oh, this must have used to be the walk between of the two units. Just leave it. It's okay. <clears throat> Hello. Hey guys, we're just coming up. We'll be out of your hair in just a second. Thank you guys very much. Mm -hmm. So you're done with everything? Yep, that's yeah, all we need. We're going to wander around outside, but we're done in the inside. Okay. Thank you so much for your time. Mm -hmm. Good job. <laughs> oh, shit, you okay? Just the outside. Yeah, I don't need you anymore. I'm outside. Yeah. Hold on. Maybe I can just. Yeah, oh my god. I love it. I'm a big fan of it, you know. Yo, look at that thing. We don't got those suckers in Cleveland. <laughs> oh, it's I assume it's just trash. We're good. This I would assume that this thing is the property line. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.